Hello and welcome. My name is Melody from Melody Crochet and this is episode 155 of the Melody Crochet podcast where I come to you from my home in Texas and discuss my yarn obsessed life. Today we're going to be doing the giveaway for February. We had 157 comments so we're going to be having Alexa choose randomly for us and I'm gonna I went somewhere. I went to the Dollar Tree because somebody said they had yarn. So we're going to go through what I got at the Dollar Tree. And that's about it. Should be short and sweet, but I'm kind of excited. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff. I I don't know what happened. It's really cold out and we aren't going out much at all because of stuff and things. And so it was kind of like an outing to the Dollar Tree. When's the last time we went to the Dollar Tree? Honey, when's the last time we went to the Dollar Tree? It's been a while. No, I mean before that. <laughs> Long time. So somebody told me they had spring stuff and yarn. And I'm, uh, I'm all about the idea of spring stuff because it's flipping cold here. We're talking like under freezing. I'm in Texas, people. What happened? <laughs> but as it were, I also want a little admin. Tomorrow we are going live. Central Wednesdays 10 a.m. I go live and we'll be giving away the magazine that we discussed last week to people who are in the comments. So if you don't win this contest, or even if you do, hey, go for it. Um, there's hardly any comments on that on the last live because we had people join us and it was seen, but I don't think anybody caught on that if you leave a comment on there, you get the magazine because people are like, I'm excited about it. I'm like, I don't see your comment. <laughs> So if you would like to win the current issue of Crochet World that I went through on my last live, knock on in there. Give me a little comment, just a hello. And let's get started. Okay, first off and foremost, I went in because spring stuff and somebody said yarn. That's really all it takes for me. Um, I saw these. I love things like this. It holds. I don't know. Some of them are better than others. This one looks pretty good though. It has a couple of removable compartments. Great for my stitch markers and little things. I just threw my removable compartment. I hope it didn't go on my tea. We're having some vanilla chai right now. It's nighttime. Shush. Terrible attitude on some guys. Mm. Vanilla chai at night. Caffeine. Craziness, I know. But I'm pretty excited and I figure for a dollar which is kind of the theme at the dollar store, right? For a dollar. <laughs> um, I'm loving hanging plants. Well, I'm loving plants in my bay window. And my husband built me a shelf for it, so even more plants. And I figure now I can hang them up. I wanted to make my own, and I still probably will. But I figured, wow, there's the theme again for a dollar. So I got these little macrame, they're super shiny. They had really, really bright green, and then they had this color. I figured this was the most unimposing color. So let me know. Have you guys had these? Hunt or lay down. I'll be with you shortly, dude. And then dish towels, because spring, again. I go through dish towels quite a bit. I'm pretty picky, but I just thought those were really, really pretty. Yeah? I thought so. I can always crochet a border on top of them so I can hang them. I love doing that, especially with microfiber because you could just punch a hole. It works so, so, so well. Works well on cotton too, but those I tend to want to do a border of like, um, like the thread and crochet a border on the cotton. These are nicer, I think, for making a dish towel cotton hanger on top. I like that. And had a chalk pen. Ah, I, I was just throwing things in the basket at that point. And as far as the basket, <laughs> speaking of basket, the reason I went is because mint green and I like the blush pink too, but they had mint green and I was like, Ooh, now this is not the mint green. Of course, this is gray. So they have these little baskets, not usually a fan, but I'm pretty sure I cleaned them out of their spring colors at my local one. And they probably have more in back though, don't you think? And then I got the same baskets in blush pink. 
which I think were really cute for holding little projects individually. You know, for home projects, not projects on the go. And they had these mint green, robin's egg blue perhaps baskets. I got three of those. I just love the ones that look like they're knitted. Oh, they're so pretty. So I got three of those. And then super excited because this is what I saw that I wanted. It's a little mint green basket. I'm pretty pleased with this. <laughs> it's the only one they had. The other one they had is holding the yarn. So I'll show you that when we're done. So they had two brands. One was called Crafters Square. Let me know oh. if you've seen Crafters Square run because the other brand is Premier, which I see all the time. So that's an actual brand. I don't know if Crafters Square is something that's just for Dollar Tree, but I know Premier is not. So I got two of these. Aren't they beautiful? They're very packed in there. Let's see if they use the standard. Hmm. Forgive. Stuff's going on over there. Um, it says J hook. This looks skinnier than most worsted unless I take it out and it just uncompact gets poofy. No, that's not getting very poofy. I would say we are decidedly in the DK weight right here. Tops. But it says J hook. 100 grams. 220 yards he's dense there's a lot going on in here so I got two because I love turquoise I just thought that would be so pretty so we'll definitely be doing some projects with these seeing if we like that they had tons of colors then they had this this was premiere right just yarn just yarn as it were but it's this beautiful army green my husband loves this color I figure hat for him I was talking about it, I think it was last week. I have to do a lot of hats for him. His hats played a disappearing act in the last couple months. I find them now and again, but he is in need. It is cold out. He goes out to that shed and he needs a hat or two. I got another one. Didn't I get, no, that's the only one I got in this brand. It is so, so, so soft. What's it comparable to? I would say Red Heart Soft feels. The other one is kind of craft yarning. It's not like, it's not like Red Heart Super Saver. I'm not even sure what this is like. We're gonna have to play with this and see, but it's already pilling, like, but who knows? It could have lived a very hard life at the Dollar Tree. But this, this I'm excited about. It's a very small amount. It's 120, well, 131 yards. Size four, I would definitely believe that this is the worsted weight. Let me see. See the difference? Hopefully that's as obvious for you as it is for me. Just a lot poofier. But it's also a lot smooshier. So maybe it would compact down to just as small. But love Premier Yarns. Size 4 worsted weight. Tumble dry low. Where were you made, friend? Made in Turkey. I love me a Turkish yarn. 100% acrylic. I'm almost 100% sure. Yep, 100% acrylic. I'm gonna get to use on this. Hopefully, one ball will make a hatch. I think it will. And we'll get some hats out of that. Hey, Hunter, my dog is back. And then they had chenille. You know I'm loving my velvet yarns lately. And they had pastels, and Easter is coming. And I'm thinking, project. Oh yes, definitely some velvety Easter decor for the coffee bar. <gasps> No. Oh, have you guys made any dishcloths or kitcheny stuff with velour yarn? I don't think it would work as a towel at all. Hmm. I mean, I think it might just have to be decorative purposes only. But super cute. What's the weight? I got mint, lavender, and pink. They are calling it a size six, super bulky. I'm calling it a bulky. I think. What do you think? super bulky but not as big as the average one 100 yards 60 100 percent polyester 65 yards for crafters makers knitters crocheters the guy down the block oh and it is even oeko tax standard 100 i love to see that thank you premiere very very good against 350 harmful substances 
machine wash, don't bleach it, don't iron, oh you can iron it. I don't know if I iron chenille, but that's going to be a lot of fun. Hey Hunter! Hunter is in, he says hey, and then Premier Cotton. Premier Cotton? Have you guys tried any dishcloth cottons from Premier? Is it 100%? Well, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. You get 104 yards. I got purple and gray, because how beautiful. Size 4, medium. That might bloom a bit. He's a little skinny, but it's cool. He'll be great for a dishcloth. And I will probably get to work on this right away because that purple is right up my alley. I love him. <laughs> and he was sitting inside my big pink bucket, which I'm excited to have. <laughs> it was the only one. And I love the blush color. I mean, I don't love a ton of the blush color. I'm not really a pink person. I might give it to my daughter-in-law. Maybe as a present. Like, I might make her something for Valentine's Day. But I was pretty happy to get it. I'll put it like that. Let's do a giveaway. Super excited about this. We did the giveaway. We had the one ball of the Pacific, which is a beautiful color. You know I love my purple, but I'm just not going to use it. One ball of Heat Wave, just in case you guys haven't tried it, I think it needs to be in somebody's hands. I have others of the same color, and I'll go get more if I need it, but I think you guys need to try it. It's just a really big favorite of mine. It's so soft, and you get so much of it. And then these guys, I'm just not going to use, and I'm hoping somebody will have a fun project and be more creative with it than I was. It's been in my stash. This was Deep Stash. This has been, but I love it. So I'm like, I mean, I, somebody needs to love it. So <laughs> hopefully she'll find a good home. So two balls of that. This was the crazy yarn. She's fabulous. Um, I have a few of these, but I wanted to see it crocheted up. So if you do crochet it, let me see online what you make. But this is crazy. They did, they just ply the mill ends of all of their yarn at Stonehenge Fiber Mill. And it's just the softest, wooliest, most beautiful thing in the world. It is hand washed. Do not even agitate. It is regular old wool. It says it on the tag though, so I'm sure anybody will know just looking at it. But it is 100% fine wool. Fine wool. Not itchy at all. Doesn't have an itchy bone in her body. And I just love those colors. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> she is crazy. And then one cake of shawl and a cake. Because I only got one of these and I don't like to have anything in stash that I don't have two or three of. And this one goes by Restful Rainbow. So she's beautiful. Look at those colors. And two kobus because I like purple and not pink, if I'm perfectly honest. One basic stitch, just in case you haven't tried one. I feel like somebody needs to. Oh, she picked a fluff. She's got fluff. One little peaches and cream stripey because this is what I'm using in several projects in the next couple. So you have to have one with you. And, oh, put in your sleeve. Where's your sleeve? There you are. The Extreme Susan Bates 25mm crochet hook. Because I had a big old to-do trying all the great big yarns two weeks ago. And I accidentally ordered two of these. <laughs> I was eager. Ooh, and one ball of sapphire impeccable yarn. So, she's in there also. And that's that. We're going to let Alexa do the dirty business here. Alexa, pick a random number between 1 and 157. Your random number between 1 and 157 is 138. 138. Okay. One sec. Oh, and they, of course, have to have a month in there. Alrighty, it's Trisha. At Trisha Crochet It All in Pink, which I think is just the best name. And congratulations, Trisha. I will be back tomorrow for the live 10 a.m. every Wednesday Central. And I hope to see you guys there. If you have any questions or comments, those are warmly welcome down below. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Oh, please like and subscribe and visit me on social media. I always forget.